I'm horrible at that. Horrible at drawing peepees? Is that what it is? No, I'm just horrible at drawing people. Um, Not peepees, it's people. People. I get it. Oh, oh, oh. This one time. So, this one time. This one time? (laughs) This, you know what? This one time. This one time. Oh my God, this one time. The podcast. Here's the question. How does it feel exercising your weird tentacle porn fetish? I do not have... (laughs) That's a good question, Evo. Thanks for asking. I'm Sheila D. And I am Evo Terra. We are Shivo, and you are listening to this one time, the podcast, Tentacle Porn. I know you're into it because that card, there's a business card that says Tentacle Porn on it. It does not. It says says Tentacle Art. And as everyone knows, art is code for porn. No, 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 no. So today I went and did some marbling. You did some marbling. (laughs) Had nothing to do with marbles. That's a euphemism then. No, 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 no. I... I created art. I did. Uh, Hang on. It's, it's, can, it's, can I back people up? Sure. For the new people that are just joining us, uh, sorry, this is a little bit confusing, but we'll we will get <laughs> there bit. eventually. So since we have been in Bangkok for the last two and a half years, thirteen years, eight 13 decades, years? <laughs> whatever it's been, feels like it's been a long time. You have had ample opportunity to explore the creative side. Of you, I've tried. I've tried. Yeah, I've done a couple things here and there, and and it's kind of been fun. Like it's 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 a bit hodgepodge. Um, a couple weeks ago, I went and did a drawing class, which was super awesome. Um, Not just everyday awesome, but but super, super awesome. awesome. And this week, you or yes, today, as a well, matter wait, of fact, I want to finish talking about. Last time, before we move on. Okay. I think we started with tentacle porn, but we can talk about pen drawing. That's fine. So uh, the the class I took last time was um, drawing from your imagination. And um, I, I did some kind of cool little art drawings that aren't in my normal scope of what I draw. Um, I think I have a, a pretty narrow scope of if, if I were to show you something, you yes. could say, yeah, that would be something you would draw. But, but when I came home, you said, did your instructor draw that? And I said, no, I drew that. I did was, say that it, it was not obviously recognizable as yours but but is that a bad thing i mean don't no no it's exactly what i wanted from what i was going for no 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 no. you you misunderstand my question Uh, isn't it a standard thing to assume that an artist has a certain what's the word i'm looking for style Uh, yeah i guess style that you know clearly is oh i can look at something and say that's a monet right right yeah so is it a bad thing to lack that range, I guess, and, and be, this is the thing that I do? I mean, a Picasso, it all look kind of weird and broken. I, I think if you are a serious artist, you probably have a genre. Okay. But as someone who is uh, learning. A dabbler? Yeah, I'm a dabbler. And so it, I think it was kind of cool to branch out to see another style of things, hmm. another style of how to draw faces. I, I, I don't disagree with that. So, and, and no. I want to hear, hear to be an art critic because gods <laughs> know of all the things you can call me. No, you don't I mean, do art. I'm critical of art uh-huh. in general, mm. but that doesn't mean that I am a decent art critic. That is I would say that is a valid statement. Okay, so you went from... (laughs) So where are you with the story now? Because I've already lost the thread of the conversation. Okay, so today I actually went to a marbling class, which is, if you've seen... I want to know how to make a marble. No, it has nothing to do with marbles at all. It has to do with patterns. advertising. Patterns. And... 
uh, almost like, uh, so when I showed you what I was going to, you said, oh, like I can tell you how to do that. You put oil in water and you put some colors in there and they like go wibbly wobbly and then you put stuff down and there you go. I am relatively certain that is not close to what I said, but that's fine. Rather than tell me what I got wrong about this class, which I nailed, by the way, I got it exactly right. What is this marbling thing that you went to? More importantly, how was the class here in Bangkok, Thailand that you uh, learned how to marble from? I absolutely loved it. So first off, I was a little nervous going in just because as a farong, you never know if it's going to be something you're going to even understand. Or as designed for you. <laughs> right. I mean, is this a clearly a Thai only thing and some idiot wrote the description in English as well? Right. 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 What's going to happen? And you, the place you went was kind of deep into oh, in Thai. the Thai side of Bangkok. You were a fair distance from where most white folk our travel. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I get there. I'm early. And um, they bring me tea. It's lovely. And as I'm sitting there, I'm like, oh, I didn't think to ask if this was in English. But the invitation that you, you the RSVP was in, was in English. Yes. So you would assume it's in English, but you've lived in Thailand long enough to know that that is not, not necessarily a right, good assumption. All right. right. So, um we go in and uh, the instructor hands me instructions in English. I am the only English speaking person there. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm the only white person there. Right. There, there, it's all Thai. And how many different, uh, what was the size of the clientele? So there were seven of us. Seven students. ladies taking the class yep. with students. Okay. Seven students, the instructor, and then the instructor's husband who is white, but very rarely spoke English. What did he speak? Thai. Oh. And, and... Did he speak English to you? Uh, at the end. Do you get the feeling that the husband was a native English speaker? Yes. Oh. Well, um, I think there's another language in there. I think there's... I think English isn't his first language, so no. Okay. To back to there. I think there's another language. He's a French guy, isn't he? I don't even know German? that. Maybe German. Could be that. Maybe. Okay. Um, and then there were two children. And the two children kept coming in and doing things, helping out the instructor as well. So the, basically, the, the Partridge family taught you how to marble. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it was great. I I truly, truly enjoyed today. Um, so... The instructor started off, she taught everything in English to me first, and then she taught everybody else in Thai. Now, did she teach? Is, but I'm the, I'm the minority in that well, situation. Yes, however. But she said I was special. Well, that's true. <laughs> in, in, in variety of ways for that. Now, when she, you just said that she gave the instruction to you in English. Mm-hmm. Was it like, did she walk over and tell you how to do something and then turn to the other six girls that were there and taught all of them collectively in Thai? Or was it a more of a, I'm going to explain this in English class and then I'm going to explain it in Pasa Thai next? Kind of a mixture of both. Oh. So she did it all with me to begin with. And everybody else listened. Okay, so they were uh, able to pay attention and do the things they wanted to do. And then she went and did it again with everybody in Thai. Collectively in Thai for them right. as well. Did, did most of the other students speak the Thai? Or speak English? Of course they spoke Thai. I, I think the majority of them spoke English. Right. Okay, good. Because as the class went on, we talked a little bit here and there, as you do. How do you it say, was, how do you it say was five hours. How do you say marbling in Thai? Marbling. That's what I thought. I have no idea. <laughs> no, but it's really cool. So um, you've seen the, it looks like peacock feathers. Um, I'm not doing a good 
good no, description. But see, the cool thing here, we're, this, we're not trying to describe marbling. We're trying to describe your experience doing marbling in Bangkok. I really enjoyed it. Um, I have a, a silk scarf now. I have a hat, a baseball hat of all things that I, when I looked at the description of the, the class, I'm like, I will never wear that hat. But after I did it, I might actually wear that hat. So this marbling thing that you did, I mean, and I've seen the scarf sitting right over here. It's lovely. It actually looks quite nice. Uh, I've seen the hat, and you can wear the hat. I can it's wear that. clearly a you hat. You don't want to wear my hat? Nope. <laughs> what Certainly. about the bag? Will you uh, carry the bag? Nope, won't carry the bag either. <laughs> and nor will I carry around this 17 pieces of paper that you have with marbling on it. However, it it is an interesting style. If this scarf were in a store somewhere, it's definitely the kind of gift you would want. Even the hat. <laughs> It's, you know, the kind of a fancy schmancy, you know, blinged out, but there's no bling on it. It's just simply with lots of color and nice swirls and it looks lovely. I get all that stuff. I should add bling to it. But this is not the kind of arts and craft you could ever do again. Um, I could, but I would have to buy some supplies. A significant amount of supplies. I mean, this is, yeah. it's less about art and more about the Experience. manufacturing process. I mean, this is a very <laughs> industrial process that you would you would go yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, it was. I would have to have like a, a studio. Yeah, to this do is, it. This is like tie dyeing, but less hippie. Yeah, yeah. Much more high tech. Fashion. Yeah, more much more high fashion. It's a yeah. high fashion. If the tie dyers had concerned themselves with the fashion, they might have gotten into marbling. Right. Right. Yeah. And since Thailand is High So City here in Bangkok. I am now High So. It worked well for that. Well, now you can make goods for the High So's. No joke. Oh, I'm so in. So you did the marbling thing today. I Prior did. to that, you learned how to make spaghetti. <laughs> so I didn't learn how to make spaghetti. I learned how to draw um squiggles around and then draw things within the squiggles is that so, what you're talking about yes because okay. it looked like you were drawing in fact i believe the instructional video i saw said draw spaghetti it did it did so i wasn't far off <laughs> and from the loops in the spaghetti that you make faces yeah yeah each of them are a little different and um so I've done it actually after the class a couple times now too. And now, when you took that class, these spaghetti face drawing, mm -hmm. what was that like as a falang in Bangkok, Thailand, taking the drawing class? Well, that was actually really awesome because it was supposed to be a group lesson, and I was the only one there. A group of one. A group of one. So it was a private lesson. One on one. Were the instructions all in English here? Yeah, yeah. The, it was a Farong teaching me. Oh, so this there were no other ties even in the in nope. the room for this. Well, they it was in a coffee shop, so yeah. Oh, well, I guess they could have been right. Where was the uh, Falang from teaching this class to you? Oh, was he a native English speaker? No, I think he had a different language as well. Hmm. I want to say French. Go ahead. French. Let's call him French. I think that's it. And uh, you sure with Italian, or is that maybe just the spaghetti that I'm thinking of? It might maybe have been the Italian spaghetti. For that, right? So marbling, we did the uh, spaghetti face drawing with that, and you've done several other what? What else Sp have I done? Well, I remember the two of us went together and did <gasps> the painting yes. with beer. Yeah. Well, we didn't paint with beer. Oh, trust me, beer <laughs> was. Instrumental in it's, the painting that I did. It's why I got you there. Exactly. <laughs> Free flow, which means you could order as much as you want. Craft beer and painting. Uh, guess which one of those two things attracted me to the evening. Surprise. I know. I roped you in on that, didn't I? Now, I believe in that one, we were the only white yeah, people we there. Yeah, we were. We were. And it wasn't like we were all painting the same thing. I mean, we were painting shoes. Right. Shoes of all strange things. Tennis so here's shoes. here's a whole bunch of beer and some white shoes. Paint them. What's your idea? What are yeah. you gonna paint? Like they didn't give you any ideas or anything. So, so. the beer was uh, definitely helpful in my. But yours in are my beautiful. Creativity. I did a halfway decent job of painting what Arun, the sunrise sunrise temple. Yeah. 
Yeah, Temple of the Dawn, as it's called. Temple of yeah. the Dawn is what what Arun means. So yeah, it's not it's not terrible. I mean, no, if I if I, I like tell them. you what it is, it looks like it. It could also be a scene from. It could be a nativity scene. It's very possible that there's uh, three wise men headed <laughs> towards that area. They're um, yours. They're, that's not what it is. Yeah, that's pretty. <laughs> that's pretty terrible. So anyhow, I, I I did that. We did that together. That was an art. Mine thing. are Starry Night. Yeah, you yours are uh, a blue. Yours are like much more artistic. With mine are a little more. Uh, and, if the R is silent, that's much what much more. What and mine, mine like. were high tops. And when I came home, I made them low types. Because you're a weird person. So the, again, that was us and a bunch of Thai people with a whole bunch yep. of beer. And so that was a, a fun event. Um, you have went and painted or drawn uh, naked bodies. Oh, I have. Um, I for, completely forgot about that. Um, yeah, I have gone to a couple, actually, of the uh, live... Naked live, body painting, what I said. Naked body drawing. Live, live models. Naked body. Which was fascinating because Look, it's, no one's going to show up for live model. You say <laughs> naked body drawing. No, that's how it's, you get the it's really cool because you focus in on the like the movement, the bends and the, the arches the of folds. spots. Yeah, it's really a cool... And ex- the bulges. No... Um, and the humps, <laughs> dude. Is that not it? No, not at all. <laughs> okay, if you say so. So yeah, it was really awesome. I'm horrible at that. Um, horrible at drawing peepees. Is that what it is? No, I'm just horrible at drawing people. Um, oh. <laughs> it's not, not peepees. It's people. People. I get yeah, it. Yeah, I right. just don't have a lot of experience at the it. The artwork so. in this for this picket episode will feature Sheila drawing a peepee. <laughs> No, it won't. No, so it's really hard to draw people. Um, and peepees of people. But, but my one-on-one lesson, he showed me how to draw hands and feet and... Genitalia. No. Um, and it was really... He showed me very simple ways to do it. So I could be drawing them more often. Genitalia? No. So that's marbling. That is... Um, noodle faces that is <laughs> naked people and that is painting on shoes so that's four different artistic creativities you have had since being here plus my photography well i'm just which is all the time you yeah. going yeah, taking yeah, a yeah, class yeah. and yeah. exploring this area so there's i think that's more than what i did back home i think it might be <laughs> i mean other than that the crazy four years where you were like the stamp queen for crazy things <laughs> Paper hey, mache, s- macrame, or whatever you were making. I don't even <laughs> I know. I was not doing macrame. Um, yeah, so there are ways to explore your creative side. Abroad. Abroad. And you, yeah. have, you have discovered yeah, yeah, yeah. those. I awesome. like it. And, it. and even in spots where it may not always be in your language. What do you mean by that? Well, I mean like going today where all of a sudden I'm like, oh, this may be in Thai. But everything but, was in English. Right. But but you never know when you go to the, some of these things. But you know what? It's art. And they're they're going to show you what to do and then you're going to do it. And art needs no language because a penis is a penis in every language. I love you. I know you do. I know you do. Hey, fireworks. Oh. Random fireworks because <laughs> Bangkok, Thailand. We have been having a lot of fireworks lately. <sighs> I don't understand what's going on. All but right, those aren't even at our normal spot. No, that's that's a that's a new random spot where fireworks <laughs> go off. Good <laughs> lord! All right, let's wrap the show so we can go watch fireworks on the balcony. Okay. This is the part where you say, "I think we answered your look." Question. No one's asking us goddamn questions anymore. If you want to ask questions, fine. Shivo WTF slash call us and you can ask a question. If you don't ask a question, goddamn it, I'm just going to start making up stuff. Because you don't already. Yeah, I guess that's the truth. So, anyhow, if you want to get a question on, find shivo.wtf slash call us, and I'm going to pull something out of my ass again next week. What <laughs> next, honey? Our show this one time would not be possible without support from people like you. Yes. 
If you think our show is worthy right. of your financial support, Patreon makes it super easy. Shivo.wtf slash Patreon to get signed up and get bonus content uh, and also get this show early. And if you would like a postcard from us from abroad, Shivo.wtf slash postcards and we'll send you a postcard uh, every single month. Our music is by Vallea Vallea. Thanks for listening, listener. I am Evo Terra. And I'm Sheila D. We'll probably do this again next week. I'm guessing. <laughs> probably. See ya. <laughs>